When you stay in his word. We have to be still and know. And you'll hear the voice of the good shepherd. Tips to influence progress. Hi, I'm Pastor Joel Turman at his house. And today's tip, I want to help you and show you some of the things that God showed me in the Word of God. And I don't know if you know, but anything that you imagine to do, you can accomplish. That means that whatever you are having in your heart to succeed in, you will not fail. If you can put together some of these principles that I'm going to show you here. Let's go to uh, Genesis chapter 11, verse, let's start at verse 6. And the Bible says, and the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Listen to that. It says, Nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. And it says, Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. Here the Bible says that nothing that they imagine to do will be withheld from them. God wants you to be at a place in your life, in your relationship with him, where whatever you imagine to do, you'll be able to see the manifestations of it. And so as we look at this uh, passage of scriptures here, we hop back to verse 3. The Bible says, And they said to one another, Go, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go, too, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make a name. Let's we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Here's the key here. They said, let us go make us a name, lest we be scattered. The first point here is that you cannot be building for the wrong name. You have to be under the name of Jesus Christ. When we say in the name of Jesus, that's not just we're saying something cute. We're saying that we are in his name. That means that we are abiding and living in the name of Jesus. I'm going to break this down for you in a little bit. The second thing that they said was, at least we be scattered abroad. You want to make sure that when you're building something, that you're not building out of fear. That you're building from a place of faith so that you can have what you are saying and what you're seeing in your spirit. Let's go now so I can break this down for you so we can get an understanding here because understanding is very key. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The Bible says that they were building and they were building because they wanted to make a name for themselves. So here you have, you're trying to make a name for yourself. But we are supposed to be in the name of Jesus. And what happens is, when we get a word, you get a word from God. The, the Bible says that the thief comes to steal. So, he's coming to steal that word. The thief comes immediately to steal the word. And if he comes to steal the word, he can only steal the word, the Bible says in the parables about the sower, he can only steal the word that you do not understand. And so, to understand means to stand under. Which means that we are supposed to stand under the Word of God. We're supposed to get an understanding of the Word or stand under the Word. Why is that? Because the Word of God, he said, is above his name. 
And the word of God is above his name because think about this. If you told somebody something or gave them a promise and you didn't keep your promise and they couldn't count on your word, well, every time they heard your name because they couldn't count on your word, your name would mean nothing to them. So his word has to come true in order for his name to be the name of Jesus Christ. So let's take a look at this. We get a word and if we, if we stand under the right name, the Bible says that the governments are on his shoulder. So they're on his shoulders. The government are on his shoulders. That's good news because the Bible also says that as when we get a word from God, that tribulation arises. Why? For the word's sake. So tribulation comes for the word as well. That word tribulation is pressure. So pressure comes when we get a word, and it comes for the word's sake. Why? To make sure that we're building under the right name. So when, when we get a word, if we don't have understanding, meaning we're not standing under the right name, then the enemy can come steal that word. And if the enemy comes and steals the word, that means that there is nothing to support what you just got from God, and that causes it to cave in, collapse, and we quit. What does that look like? You got a word that says you're going to, to start a business. As soon as you get that word, if you get it and you're trying to elevate yourself, then the thief comes and it steals that word. You got a word, but you weren't standing under the name of Jesus you got that word, the thief came and stole that word because when the pressure came of the business, you forgot that God gave you that and you have to obey his word and you, because it was for yourself, you quit and said, uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to try another business. I may try uh, to another lady and get a divorce, get married again. And all of the things that we're trying to do, they don't hold up because we're under the wrong name and building for the wrong reason. Because the Bible says that the whole earth is upheld by the word of his power. Also, the word says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And it says the righteous run in. And we are safe. And so if you want to get to the place where no matter what you imagine to do, you'll be able to accomplish it. You have to make sure that you're building for the right reason. If you give up, cave in and quit, it's probably a sign that you were building for your own name or you were building out of fear. And that's your tip for today. Tips to influence progress.